Ever since the Saints drafted right tackle Ryan Ramchak out of that 2017 draft class, he's been even better than the Saints could have expected. Three-time All-Pro, he's had a great career so far, but I have noticed some fans over the past few years, you know, some rumblings, is he washed, is he good anymore? I'm here to tell you, yes, he is absolutely still good. In fact, I believe he is still a top five right tackle in this league. He has dealt with some knee issues over the past couple years that has made him, you know, not quite the player he was in his first few seasons, but like I said, he is still very, very good. In today's video, I'm going to show you a game against the Raiders from last year in which Ryan Ramchek primarily went against one of the best pass rushers in the league, Max Crosby. Let's get into it. Okay, on this play here, the Saints are going to be running a three-step drop quick pass. Ramchek is going to do what is known as a jump set. A jump set is essentially what it sounds like. You jump into the defender instead of setting and making him come to you. Jump sets are commonly used on three-step drop or quick passes in general just to make sure the defender has no chance of making an impact on the play. Ramchek does a nice job right here with his inside hand, with his initial punch. He strikes Crosby with that inside hand and uses outside hand as kind of like a guide, just kind of touch him as he goes. Beautiful rep. Okay, this next play you'll see the Raiders run a defensive line stunt and Ramchak is able to pass Crosby off to Ruiz smoothly and overtake the defensive lineman. Now he's able to do this smoothly because he sets to his point. He doesn't overset. He gets his outside leg split down the crotch of Crosby. This allows him to take his post steps to his left to, you know, like I said, pass him off to Ruiz and absorb the defensive lineman that is stunning towards him. And yes, he can still move just fine in the run game. Here you see him on quarterback sweep, pulls to the outside, gets in front of the defender, and Taysom Hill does what Taysom Hill does best. Watch it again. Pulls to the outside, gets his hat across, and walls him off. On this play here, Crosby actually times up the inside move perfectly, but because Ramchek has such a nice inside strike, he's able to stop him in his tracks and use lateral post steps to cut him off and win the rep. Watch it one more time. Right there, Crosby gets Ramchak to overset very slightly, not much, but because of his inside hand, how strong it is, how strong the punch is, he derails him and does a nice job. This rep here is one of the better examples of patient hands from a lineman that you will see. If, if Ramchak throws his strike any sooner, the swipe move from Crosby likely wins, and this might end up in a sack. Watch again. Nice set. Ramchek stays square, keeps that outside leg split in the crotch of Crosby. And by the time Crosby makes his move, you know, the play is essentially over, and Ramchek's able to run him upfield and win the rep fairly easily. But again, just a beautiful uh, example of having patient hands as an offensive lineman. A lot of tackles around the league, you know, they rush, they rush their set and they rush their hands and they end up getting them hands knocked off from a move right there like Cl like Crosby tried. But here Ramchek's patient with it, waits to the very last second to throw his hands and wins the rep. On this rep here, you'll see Crosby go for a nice chop swipe technique that he's so good at, but Ramchek uses a bait or a flash technique with his inside hand right there. And what that does is it throws off the timing of the move by Crosby, and it allows Ramchek to use a nice strong outside punch to run him upfield and essentially win this rep. Again on this rep, just a nice use of the inside hand, strong punch by Ramchek. And he's able to use his post steps to ride Crosby all the way down the line. What do you mean by that? Gets a little help from the tight end, but, you know, nonetheless, good strong inside hand and just takes him down the line. And then this play here, I got it from this angle because it just shows, you know, the processing is obviously still there for him. He's always been a smart player, but, you know, this really shows it. You can see him right there communicate with Ruiz like hey this nickelback is going to come I need you to block this defensive end so I can slide out here and get this guy so you see how it plays out exactly like that let's look at the again right there you can see him tell Ruiz like hey you need to kick out here and get this guy McCoy handles the handles the one technique right there 
Ruiz does a nice job with Crosby stunting inside, and Ramchek is able to pick up the nickel back with E. All right, Saints running outside zone again. Ramchek and Ruiz. Ruiz does a nice job on that defensive tackle. Ramchek is Ramchek's job on this play is to possibly overtake that defensive tackle if, if he's able to, but if he's not, peel back and catch a linebacker. Exactly what he does here gets him a nice little pancake, and AK gets another nice game. All right, on this play, Crosby is going to come with a bull rush, and throughout most of the game, Ramchek used independent hands, so he would either use his left hand or his right hand to strike with. This time, he switches it up and goes two-handed punch, and it's the perfect time to do it, but Ram does miss with his inside hand, as you can see right there. It kind of just slips off of him, but he eventually regains a grip and is able to reset his base and stop Crosby before he gets to the quarterback. Also, if Dalton steps up in the pocket here, but he's kind of unable to do it because of interior pressure. But imagine that interior pressure isn't there. If Dalton steps up in the pocket, it's a perfect job by Ramchek. Again, with the patient hands from Ram. Watch this. Waits to the absolute last second to throw his hands. He waits until Crosby shows what he's doing. See, Crosby shows right there what he's doing. And as soon as he does, punches him with that outside hand and stops him in his track. This was such a fun matchup to watch. See it again right there. Crosby shows his move. Looks like he's coming inside. The weight is all on that left leg. But Rams is there with that inside hand once again to stop him. And on this play, you'll see Crosby throw a spin move at Ramchek. He was really throwing out all the stops this game. But because Ryan Ramchek takes such a beautiful set, gets to his aiming point correctly, stays square, he's able to stay in front of him and completely negate the spin move attempt by Crosby.